Welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter, your home for all things relating to smart home technology. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to change Ventoy using Ventoy plugs on. Hi, I'm Ron Nutter, and we're going to be working on this together. This content is also available as an Amazon Flash Briefing or podcast. Please go to techbyteswithronnutter.com for more information. For any items mentioned in this episode, there are affiliate links in the description. If you click on these links, I will get a small commission, but that won't affect the price you pay for the item. If you want to get notified when new content is uploaded, please click on subscribe and enable notification. Now in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to modify the Ventoy configuration, or the configuration of Ventoy, depending on how you look at it, using Ventoy plugs on, and you're gonna like this one. First, we're gonna talk about in, you know what the plugins are, what they do. Then we'll look at doing Ventoy in list view mode, which is the default mode, but you need to understand the names of the different modes to put everything in place. And then lastly, we'll look at Ventoy and tree view mode. And the more stuff you put on your Ventoid uh, SSD or how, however you're using Ventoy, the more important I think you're going to see that TreeView comes and makes it even easier for you. This time we're looking at a new feature within something that I did a previous video on called Ventoy. And this is like the diamond in the rough. You, you really don't know that it's there. There is something called a plugin. And when we go to the plugin, it's just says, okay, this is what you need to do. But it doesn't really tell you there's already something out there. But that's what we're going to be covering this time. This is the menu we're all used to in Ventoy when it comes up by default. And there's nothing wrong with it. But if you're like me, and I can be somewhat of a pack rat, well, the more files you get means the more things you have to scroll through and try to remember, well, is that a utility? Uh, is that a Linux distro? Because some of the names, unless you use them a lot, may not mean a lot to you. Well, if you look down here at the bottom, it says tree view. And if you'll notice when you organize your Ventoy, you can put it in directories. So this is how you can get into that if you've done that. If you haven't, I, I highly encourage you to do that. Now, when you reboot, it's going to go right back to that. But here in just a second, I'll show you how to make it permanent. And it's not going to take a degree in computer programming to do it. Now, if you're like me, you're used to seeing directories and having things organized. And the more you use something like Ventoy, and I become addicted to it, I'll admit it, the more you want to have things organized to make it easier to use. So I've, for example, here I've got boot CD and that at this point, those are special purpose CDs like Hiram's boot CD, uh, Kane, which is a uh, forensic related CD. If I go into Linux OS, well, then there's got Zorin, which is a nice lightweight Linux interface that it lets you kind of try things and if you're not sure what to proceed you can always start with this then we've got well-known uh, ubuntu linux mint and this way if you use these then there's going to be you can bounce back and forth the only thing you'll have to look at is how to have some persistence in what you're doing and that's going to be a subject for another video but there are all sorts of things you can do and here's some of the utilities, this one we talked about in the initial video. So you can see how easy it is to get organized. Now, the, to get Ventoy to play nice, what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to the directory where you unzipped it and initially ran the install from. So for me, it's under download, Ventoy 1099, and then you see Ventoy plugs on. That's the secret sauce. This one is, you have to go out and to look at some of the different sites on the internet to find this one because I was trying to look to see how to get a hold of it and it's already on there. You just have to know what directory to go to. So if you click on that and we'll say yes because of the version of Windows I'm on and we'll say start. 
this is all sorts of things you can get into, like persistence plugin. This is these are going to be some things that I'm going to get into over time. But at this point, you, know, you can start with device information, and it shows you it recognizes the dock case device that I'm on, the version of Ventoy, the size of the SSD, and I've got it for EXFAT. Now we'll go to the global control plugin. This is where you can do what I'm talking about and coming it up in tree view mode. So if you go down here to VToy default menu mode, and these are things you can hand code the file for Ventoy, but with a tool like this, why? So we'll just go over here and we'll click on one. You'll see it pops this configuration successfully saves. So you don't have to do anything else. Now let's see what it, if it, what it does. It says preview. Okay, that just shows you the file it's going to create to get things running moving forward. So that really is all you have to do. Now to make sure that this is going to work right, we need to reboot and we'll go in. And as soon as we get to the point where it tells us to get into the um, menu system, then I'll hold down the escape key. Okay, there we go. And we'll go to boot menu, just like we're used to. In my case, I'll pick the UEFI dot case. And see, now it comes up. Just the way you the the way you want to do it auto it defaults in to tree view. So if you want to browse, you can still do that, and it will tell you the different partitions that are out there. And we'll go back to tree view or we'll hit return. So now we can go to boot CD and there and, and the benefit of having it in tree view is it now gives you the size of the file just as an added piece of information and this is all with keyboard the mouse is not supported so it's one less thing that you've got to worry about Linux OS so there's that there's all you know it gives you a lot of flexibility so keep this one in the back of your mind there as you see there's a lot of other tweaking you can do with Ventoy but I tell you what this one is really is probably going to do the most good for me because this lets you put other things in the pipeline and keep it very organized and a little easier to find when you're not running one utility or one boot cd all of the time if you are watching this on youtube you will see videos on the screen that are similar to the one you've just watched or other content that youtube thinks you might be interested in if this video helps you or provides value please click on the like button thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe and enable notifications. We'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.